friends! Today I'm here to talk about my top five favorite romance tropes. Uh, yes, this is all the same as my contemporary -a -thon TBR. This is the video going up during the contemporary -a -thon, and I kind of wanted to kind of have it filmed so that I'm not taking up reading time if that makes sense. So this is also going to be either the day before Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day so I figured romance tropes would be the like easiest thing to talk about. So I have five tropes in no particular order. I usually if a book has any of these five I'm really like enticed to pick it up. The first one is a slow burn romance. I, at first I wasn't the biggest fan of Slow Burn, but as I like read more and more, like without really realizing those were the books, those were the type of books I was picking up, a romance to me is more believable if it's a slow burn and like they don't just like jump into bed together or go out on a date within the first like 50 pages. I feel like it's more believable like in real life if you know they meet they kind of whatever they become friends the friendship naturally progresses into feelings romantic feelings I just feel like it's more believable that way romance trope number two is fake dating I love a fake dating story. When the To All the Boys I've Loved Before movie came out, I had never read those books before because the idea of her writing these letters and the letters getting sent out never appealed to me. But when the movie came out, I watched the movie and I was so mad that I had never seen anything about it being a fake dating. So I picked up the book, the first book, and I read it and loved it. But I read the whole trilogy within like a month and a half and it was so good and I had been, like I was so mad that I didn't know that that was a fake dating. Fake dating also happens a lot in like the new adult college books where like the girl is trying to impress this other guy so she'll fake date the main main guy character in the, in the book and they end up liking each other instead of her liking this other guy. Trope number three is sports romances. I love a good sports romance. Mostly what I've read is baseball and hockey. There have been a couple of football and then like a couple of soccer romances. I grew up playing softball and volleyball and like my family really enjoys going to baseball games, going to football games. So I've grown up around sports and I really enjoy seeing that aspect of it in a romance novel. Usually the guy is the athlete and I like when the girl like doesn't know much about the sport but she goes because she goes to these games or practices because she wants to learn more about something that's so important to the guy. I really like that. Trope number four is opposites attract. Um, usually this is the, like it's not really an enemies to lovers type situation. It's more of, like in a YA, a girl will move to a new town and she'll like see the guy from far away and think he's really cute and then people will like tell her all of the like bad things that he does. I want to say like good girls and bad boys, but not even just that, it's just when like other people other like outside people's perceptions of them are that they are so completely opposite they would never work like he's not good for you she's not good for you it's something about main characters having to overcome not really even overcome just kind of like get past outside opinions of the relationship I really enjoy that and finally trope number five is nicknames I really enjoy when couples don't call each other by their first names if they go like a lot of sports romances do the last name if they have like little inside joke names oh Huh. Let a guy call a girl darling because that is just like my number one. I love, love, love when a guy calls a girl darling. 
it's just the best to me. So those are some of my favorite romance tropes. Leave me a comment down below with your favorite or least favorite tropes if you're not into some of the ones that I put in, that I said. Let me know why. I'd be interested interest I'd be interested to see some different opinions on some of my favorite things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.